and welcome back, everyone. Troy Bathens yet again here for these uh, for this fourth race of the day. This one between M Sushi and Ultra Marlin. M Sushi gonna be gonna be giving us that webcam and showing us that he is not even phased by this race. He is yawning at the start. The BM coming out from M Sushi right away. And yeah, both these players our top level runners both being able to achieve 27th so i'm looking for a i'm excited to see what could potentially be a very close race between these two players i'm excited the chat's excited we're gonna get right into this one Not going to be any real deficits just yet, as you know, it is prologue. No difficult sections, yep, going to be both out of there and into chapter one. M Sushi, M -Sushi making sure that his audio levels are good for him. on the timer M sushi gonna be getting out of there first actually with the 132 yeah, getting the better time of 101 on the chapter as opposed to Marlin's like 108 there definitely gonna be helping him out M sushi he's not even trying look he he doesn't care another yawn coming out from M sushi this is another day in the life of MCG. You know, this is the typical Thursday, you know? This didn't, this didn't get recorded on Thursday, but you know what I mean. Ooh! So you're digging a little bit of a fall. Okay, they are still neck and neck. Now they are neck and neck. Oh, Marlin gonna lose some the momentum there. So she's looking to be the first one out of chapter two with 320. 
three to Ultra Marlin 325 high, 325, so almost a 326. Gonna be two to three second difference going into chapter three. That is basically not negligible. in sync. Oh, Sushi gonna be taking a death, actually allowing Marlin to pull just a little bit ahead. They actually may just be at the same time and uh, give it. Marlin's timer is a little bit ahead of M Sushi's, so we're basically looking at a tie right now. Any slip up can change this right now, given how close they are. And that could do it right there, Marlon having a little bit of trouble with the keys. Yep, Sushi going to be a little bit ahead, given the timer desync that we were looking at, but visually at least, we have a sync. Oh, <laughs> wow. This is crazy, just seeing the movements in perfect sequence with each other that was this is beautiful to see it is still going on between these two players oh and there it is sushi gonna be taking the death ruining what was such a beautiful dance between the two players as marlin is now going to be in the lead out of the first section of huge mess not anything that Sushi can't make up given that it is only a death apart right now. Marlin going to be approaching the third section, the laundry section of Huge Mess. Sushi just trailing behind. checkpoint gets it on the first try as well so not gonna be a factor in this race today chapter 749 for m sushi getting a seven uh four two x there for uh for that chapter 
Uh, there's a lot of numbers for me to go through, so I actually don't remember what the lead is for Marlin, but I'm pretty sure it's within five seconds. Ooh, Marlin losing momentum on that first windscreen. And, and Sushi is going to be able to go through there, no problem. Definitely going to give Sushi a little bit. A little bit of a chance there. Gaining getting some traction on this gap that he currently has. But, uh, but Marlin's still going to be in the lead. As he is getting to the first auto scroller section very shortly. Let's see what he goes for if he's going to be going for the new boxless strat. Is he going to go for the ultra or what is it? Looking like he's going to be going for the boxless. See if he's able to pull this off. He is going to be getting it. Took a little bit of time there. Meanwhile, we see Sushi going for the try to true ultra. Something that he's just so used to, it makes sense for him to keep going for it and not change his ways. Where it's Marlin being an IL runner, anytime a little. Anytime, like, a little uh, strat is put into a screen, it makes sense for Marlin to implement it. And Hat be no stranger to implementing strats very quickly and learning quickly so that he can keep up with the IL time. Marlin now going for this ultra. He is going to be pulling it off. Sushi not too far behind, also going for the ultra on the second auto scroller. Marlin in Cliff's Edge. Is that what that's called now? <laughs> Chai, you've been using that like three times this, this stream, so I, I I was wondering what you were referencing with that name. So, okay, is second auto... I, I, I want a confirmation. Is the second auto-scroller ultra called the Worgen for him? Because I am totally cool with calling it that. That sounds great. That's a great name. So I'm cool with calling it that, if that's what it is. Okay, yes. So the second auto-scroller skip. That's a Morgan Florian. Good to know. Okay, Marlin gonna be finishing out chapter four. I did not catch the timer. I was paying too much attention to chat. Shy getting a 1036 though. Taking some deep uh, deep breaths. So yeah, Marlin looking to have about a 10 second lead going into chapter five. Sorry, I, Marlin getting a 10 second lead going into chapter 5. Yeah, there's stuff going on here. It's not easy <laughs> to do this on my own sometimes. I get very distracted, a lot of stuff goes on. Marlin's gonna be taking a death at that Theo, at that Theo cutscene. Not sure if he had gone for the button uh, warp or not. Marlin gonna be getting Death's Corner Boost. M Sushi failing it, gonna not try for it again, just gonna go through the screen. Not too satisfied with how he dealt with that. You can see on the webcam, but he is gonna be moving through nonetheless. Okay, we're looking at Marlin getting in 1140 on that exit out of the cassette room. 5A. And Sushi not too far behind. Gonna be getting looks to be an 11, I'd say 56. Okay, 11.56. Thought maybe a 57 was gonna take over. But it is not. Marlin gonna be having about a 15 second lead here in 5B. Oh, Sushi 
Two, she's taking a death on one of the first screens in 5B. That is not a good omen. Marlon gonna be getting uh, to keep up drop on the first try. So she's definitely gonna be having to follow suit with that in order to keep up with where Marlon is right now. Oh, and Sushi isn't gonna land it. Gonna have to go for it on the second try, giving Marlin a good lead here. Gonna be at roughly a 25 second lead now with that in mind. Sushi getting it on the second try though, that definitely not taking too big of a loss from it. But the one death is, but the one fail is certainly enough to make it uh, to increase the margin by quite a bit. Looking at that almost 30 second gap between the two players as Maroon has started the mirror sequence. And Sushi doing the red bubbles just before the mirror. He's gonna be successful and make it through. Marlin now starting up the Theo section. Oh, Sushi taking a death in the vertical room here. Gonna be able to get through there on the second try. Marlin gets through Gauntlet on the first try. Marlin on the Crystal Heart Room 45B. Gonna make it through at about a 1401 on that timer. Keeping that lead coming out of 5B into reflection. Sushi starting out there, uh, their Theo section. Let's see how big of a lead Marlin is going to be having here. Sushi going to be finishing out getting a 1445 it looks like, so that's going to be a 40 second lead for Marlin in, in reflection here. Definitely a large margin to make up for Sushi, but not something that can't be done. given that we are in. We still have about half of the run left. And these can be a lot of the difficult screens here. Marlin taking a death, not able to start up the Kevin block. far behind. And Marlin with top route. Cutscene at 
Ooh, Marlin failing the dev intended shortcut. Gonna have to try again on this one. Gets it on the second try. M Sushi getting a 1706 on grandma cutscene, so still looking about 30 to 40 seconds between the two players as we get into the battle and fight area. Death they are ending up underneath the blocks. And getting kind of a slower uh, feather skip, still skipping the feather nonetheless. Oh! Sushi getting the same death! That is not a common death to be seeing, and both players are gonna manage to find it. So that is very interesting to be seeing. Marlin now in this vertical section. We're gonna be going into the second part of the fight. Going by, shown by, uh, battling, calling us not a mountain climber. has definitely made up some time here. But Marlin is definitely still in the lead as he has two more screens in this in this battle and fight. Now one more. Okay, Marlin's gonna get the level up. And gonna be navigating, navigating his way to the top of reflection area, hitting the orb. I'm gonna be out of here, looking to be a 2008, it looks like. 2007, hi 2007. Msushi, not too far behind, gonna be getting a 20. 33 it looks like 35 okay so we've got a almost 30 second lead for marlin going into the summit And with the runners being as close as they are, we are going to get the slight sync for the timer. Sushi now being unpaused. Not really a huge desync to deal with there. So the pause was not long as a result. Marlin going through 500 meters as Sushi is finishing up zero. Okay, 
and Marlon's gonna be still having to play at the top of his game in order to keep his in order to keep his uh, that he has off of Sushi right now. Loving a little bit on the end of 500 meters. He's not going to die though, so that's definitely something to be looking out for. Allowing Marlin to stay. Uh, to keep his momentum moving forward, not gonna fall back anywhere. We are looking at just about a Still about a 20 to 30 second gap between the two players. Marlon getting some good ultra, uh, sorry, getting some good dream hypers and finishing out 1,000 meters. As Sushi still has a couple more screens to deal with in 1,000. Taking the left route in, he's gonna get crushed inside of the dream block. And now losing a dash. That's gonna be a huge. It's gonna be a huge loss for him. Definitely giving Marlin some leeway right now. Room to stretch for Marlin as he is dealing with a more difficult section of 1500 meters. Still gonna be trying to play at the top of his game, but definitely has a lot more to work with now. Sushi's still having trouble and just starting 1500, so. Sushi's gonna have to pull it together in order to catch, uh, even have a chance of catching up to Marlin. Marlin's starting up 2000 meters while Sushi making it through the quad hyper room. Okay, Marlin now on the auto scroller of 2,000 meters. Sushi not enjoying his pace he's currently at, out uh, entering 2000, definitely is feeling some of the pain there uh, of this run. Marlin gonna be working their way out of 2000 meters into 2500 very shortly. Sushi going for the auto scroller skip skip, not even activating the directional block. Taking a death on the first try. He's going for a second one. Looking good this time and able to get the spike jumps as well. Marlin now going into key skip, well, uh, M. Sushi is finishing out 2,000 meters, has a couple more screens to do, or they are out of there. Alright, Marlin now on to door skip is able to skip the doors. Sushi's starting out 2,500 while Marlin is just about to finish it. Looking to start his ascent of the 30 flags. Sushi pulling off key skip. Marlin 
now working through the uh, through 3,000 meters. Through 3,000, through 3,000, through 3,000. Wow. <laughs> That's a tough one. Okay. <laughs> Marlin, working it through. I'm gonna hit flag 23, I believe that is. Okay, no, that was 21. Marlon taking the touchdown on 19 is has a little bit of trouble, but is going to be able to recover. Sushi trailing behind, at hitting flag 28 just now. Flag 13. Marlin at flag 3 now. Okay, Marlin just has a little bit more of the mountain to climb before he is done. Looking at a very good time here. Poor Marlin. It's gonna be getting a 28-25, I believe that was. 23. 28-23 for Marlin. Sushi just a little bit behind, starting out flag six right now. I'm gonna be hitting flag five. Hitting a little bit of a snag for, for taking that checkpoint. Gonna be getting number two now and finishing off their run. Looking to be getting about a minute gap between the two players as Sushi goes through the final part of flag number one and hits the top. Yep, gonna get a 29. 19 it looks like 2920 so yep just about a 57 second difference between the two players sushi showing his reaction to that having a bit of a bra moment in his mind so marlin taking another win he is four uh sorry he's three and oh uh uh with that win of course, Marlin's uh, match from last week has not aired yet, and as such, the results aren't on the board either. So, it is hard to say where Marlin is on the standings. But, as far as where it is right now, with everything that we know, M. Sushi is still ahead of Marlin, but not by too much. Just about 8 points between the two of them on that board. So, definitely something to look out for. You definitely do not want to miss Marlin's second race that he has today. That's going to be aired today, rather. That was from last week. Uh, but we don't know the results. No one knows the results. Um, and so we're going to be going right into the next race shortly. It's going to be about in about 10 minutes between Chai Kitty and Black Bear. So stick around for that one. Thank you for watching this one. <laughs>